Hi, welcome to this video. My name is Arvind Mota and I'm going to talk to you about the top reasons as to why people fail in stock markets. Now, did you know that 90% of people lose 90% of their money in the first 90 days? Well, that's because they're making some of these mistakes. Now, being a full-time trader, I myself have made some, some of these mistakes and I would like to make this video so that you can learn from this and you don't have to make any of these mistakes yourself. Okay, so let's get started. The first reason as to why people fail is lack of knowledge or training. People do not know how stock markets function. Okay, like uh, what is stock exchange, what is the trade life cycle or how, the, how are settlements done, what are the tools and systems required for trading and what are the terminologies used like what is the stop loss, what is shorting, what is leverage etc. Because if you don't know these terminologies, you are going to have a tough time. So please do all this research before you go into the stock markets. Okay, people don't understand the trading fundamentals like uh, what is the system of buying and selling of stocks, uh, understanding of brokerages and transaction charges like uh, STT or CTT which is securities and commodities transaction tax. Okay, and not staying updated with latest economic developments is again very very critical. Uh, you should know things like uh, what is uh, what kind of amalgamation is going on, uh, what are the acquisitions, mergers uh, between companies and uh, what are the new product launches happening, what are the changes in government policies. Because these have a direct impact on the stock markets and will also influence the stock prices whichever stocks you are investing in. Next is lack of trading plan. Now even if you know uh, all this knowledge and have the systems in place, if you do not have a good trading plan backed with a good strategy, then you are going to again fail. The first thing required is what stocks are you going to invest or trade in. You should have a strategy behind it. And uh, are you going to be an intraday or a delivery trader? Basically, it depends on the term of investment you're looking at. Is it going to be a short term or a long term? Next is, what is the ideal time to enter and exit the market? You should have a plan behind that. And uh, you should have a specific target and stop loss, which is called as risk management. So it's not just enough what stock you're going to buy and what uh, what is your entry point and exit point. You should also know uh, what is your stop loss. So this is where the strategy comes in place. Next is follow the market indices and be aware of its movements. For example, if you are trading in India, you will obviously be following what is Nifty 50, what is Nifty 100, Nifty Bank or Sensex. So whichever country you are trading in, please ensure you follow the indices because these will also be an indicator as to where the market is moving. Okay, next is lack of discipline or control over emotions. Again, if you have a great trading plan and all the knowledge is there, but if you don't have control over your emotions, then uh, again it's going to be a problem should have control over your greed and should not take emotional decisions. Like for example, if we have a lot of loss, it's not like uh, it should uh, it should, uh, it should be able to you know, arrange for more capital and enter, enter more trades to make up for the loss, then that's not going to be there. And if you if you're already having enough profits, if you want to invest more and more in the same stock, uh, expecting it to go up, go up, then it's going to be a problem again. So have a strategy, that's all it matters. And have the patience to trade at the right prices. Uh, even if you have a great, great plan and if the prices are not coming to the plan set up by you, then you should have the patience to wait for it and trade at the right prices. And please don't go for any tips or uh, calls from unreliable sources. There are so many people giving uh, WhatsApp tips or calls. Every day they'll, you'll be getting messages. Uh, so please don't subscribe for any of this. Do your own strategy and trade independently. And uh, also panicking of fear of missing out. You, know, you always see somebody, a friend or relative making money saying that I invested in stocks in so and so year and uh, I, I got so much profits. So please don't go by that. You will also have your uh, time. Every day there are so many stocks to invest in. So have, always have a good plan, strategy and then you can go ahead and invest in it. Next is lack of fund management. Okay, please don't put all the eggs in one bas basket, uh, your entire capital should not go into one or two stocks. So always have a diversified portfolio, uh, preferably like four to five slots and uh, also in different sectors. So please don't go for one sector like IT or Pharma. Uh, so always have a diversified portfolio. And especially in multiple sectors, even if one fails, the other will not uh, fail. And you should also know how much to reinvest or withdraw. Like, are you going to expand your capital or are you going to withdraw your funds for your expenses or whatever investments you're making? So please have a trading plan. I would suggest around 50-50 ratio. 
like you can reinvest 50 percent of profits and you can withdraw 50 percent for your uh, other other income income uh, streams okay uh, so i hope this video was helpful so if you want to be a good successful trader please don't make any of these mistakes and uh, again once again thanks a lot for watching and please subscribe to my channel and uh, you'll be getting more updates on, on these kind of topics thanks a lot for watching again and have a great day bye bye